right, welcome to this week's edition of What's New at Charlie's. So what's new at Charlie's this week is chicken cock, double oak chicken cock. Uh, we've done a few chicken cock videos. Um, we've been fans of what they were doing, what they've done. Um, and double oak seems to be a theme that keeps coming up lately. Um, so we're also fans of double oak, so I have high expectations for this one. Don, the bourbon fool. Don, what do you think, man? I think that double oak is becoming a thing. It is, man, you know, and I'm glad too because I'm a, I'm a double oak fan. I think it's, you know, when if, if, if you get flavor out of one barrel, you get twice as much out of two. That just seems how it works. The, the bourbon industry is evolving because secondary barrel maturation has become a thing. Yeah, sure. And, uh, you know, the first, the first attempts really were um, used wine casks, yeah. right? Wine yeah. and sherry casks. Yeah. And then we've seen used craft beer cask, and then now we see using two new American oak barrels. And now this one is two oak barrels. Not sure whether they're both new. Okay. But it's Chicken Cock's version of double oaked. So nice. Um, so Chicken Cock, I mean, we've done a few videos. We've covered their, their history, you know, it goes back to the Cotton Club and smuggling whiskey across the river and that's right and, and be sure to watch to the end because we're going to show you a link that will tell you more about this famous brand so yeah absolutely and then uh the the cap was significant back in the day they would that was your shot glass when you would uh they smuggled the bottle with the shot glass on it and, and, and don't forget you know chicken cock is presented in a tin can often yeah and in Prohibition days, I'm pretty sure that that was used to kind of hide the fact that it was uh, a bottled, you know, spirit. Yeah. Most of it smuggled in across the Detroit River, I'm pretty sure. From Absol Canada. Yep. Canada. Absolutely. So, yeah. So, do we have any idea where this is coming from now? This is a, you know, says a Kentucky whiskey, right? Yeah, but it no notably doesn't say bourbon. Right. So, it's a whiskey. Yeah. So... I guess that leaves a lot of things open. Yeah, it, could be less than 51% cord, could not be a new oak barrel, could be some right. things that disqualify it from being a bourbon. Right, so, you know, the, the bottom line is these guys have done a lot of, you know, blended products. They've yeah. done a lot of different things, and, and they're very popular. And, you know, the brand goes back for a lot of years, originally from 1856. Yeah. yeah. Uh, during Prohibition, sold to a Canadian company. Yeah. which is why it was smuggled back across the river. Yep. And uh, at the Cotton Club, it was the prestigious brand. It was the brand everybody called for. Sure, yeah. Now, this one says it's aged eight years. That's a, that's a pretty fair statement. Yeah, yeah. that is. Yeah. That is. And usually, you know, uh, eight years is kind of the beginning of our wheelhouse. Yeah, right, yeah. So let's, uh, let's crack it open and see what we got here. Beautiful bottle, as always, you know. Eight year color. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers, bud. So this is not a high corn. No, a lot of rye. Bill. Yeah, a lot of rye. Could be why it's not a bourbon, because that uh, that rye spice is right up front on you. It's a little sweet on the front palate, but it's got that. But it's got that rice spice. Yeah. That burn. Yeah. It's got a little bit of a burn. Absolutely. It's got a good long finish. It does. Uh, so my guess is, it's heavily rye, and the bottom, you know, perfect marriage of age and wood is what they call it, and I would really think that. It kind of reminds me of a traditional whiskey. Yeah. Like an old school whiskey. Yeah. You definitely get some wood, but it doesn't overpower. It's not overly woody or not a ton of char. You don't get a lot of the smoke like you did with the, some no, of the other double. No, you don't, but you yeah. get some of that old, let's call it, Leather, tobacco. Okay. Yeah. Kind of, kind of that old school whiskey flavor. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, 
that I think was really prevalent, like in the '60s and '70s. Yeah. Um, I I really I really like it. I do too. Yeah. It's, it's different on our palate because sure. we've been leaning towards sweeter product. Right. Yeah. But this is a straight in your face eight year old whiskey. You know what we say about rye whiskeys? I don't like them until I taste them, and then I, <laughs> then I like them. Uh, in a previous video, I told you there weren't too many whiskeys we really don't like. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but could explain the wall over there. It, it could. <laughs> it could. Or just that you run a perfect place for people that want to There you go. Whiskey. Absolutely. Well, this is a very nice pour of whiskey. Um, I expect nothing less from the chicken cock guys. Good guys, good people. Um, and uh, this is another winner. And watch this to the end because we're going to link this to a previous chicken cock video that we think you will like. Absolutely. Cheers, Charlie. Cheers, buddy. Thank you, everyone. Thanks. Cheers.